We're working toward our next inspection and excited to be starting a major project. Today is finally the day. As always, the stakes are high for us to get this right, but we're still learning as we go. We lost it. And we're always humbled by how intense each step of the build can be. Yeah, we're, our knees hurt, so. Follow along as we start our supply line plumbing, and if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss a moment of the build. After a long, snowy and rainy winter, we finally started to see more dry days. As the days grow longer, our land starts to come alive again, and it almost feels like we can see spring right around the corner. This means that when we're not building, we get to turn our attention to tending our land. We all enjoy getting outside to take on Blackberry management, and even our kids and chickies get in on the fun. It's a welcome change. Hey girls. All right, good morning guys, and we are back, and today is finally the day. We are starting in on our supply line plumbing, and today we're gonna go through and we're going to start marking the locations of both of our hot and cold water and stub those down. We're hoping we can get all those stubs down done today so that then the next day we're working on this we can go under the house and start making all those connections so today is going to be a little bit of a learning day because we need to kind of you learn how to use the tools and kind of get our processes in place but then after we get done with that we should be on our way to finding our groove so sarah is off getting a couple supplies i'm getting a fire started and then we're gonna get to work All right, I'm in our downstairs bathroom here and I just got both of our hot and cold water lines drilled. We're gonna get that those PEX lines down and then we're also gonna get the, the line that's gonna run over to the toilet completed. So we're gonna get those lines stubbed down uh, and then move on to the upstairs bathroom and figure out where those lines are gonna go. So I am just cutting out the foam here on the ones that'll be for our kitchen. So this will be where our kitchen sink is gonna be. And then I'm gonna put one farther down for the ice maker that will be for our refrigerator. If you remember from our electrical, we have to cut out the foam that is part of our insulation package with our cabin kit to make room for the PEX or for the Romex to go through. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, and Ryan is in the back putting some holes in that our PEX will be coming up through for our bathrooms. is all ready for the pecs so i'm gonna go check and see what ryan's doing in the bathroom and help him finish that up all right so now we're drilling our holes for the tub supply lines and i've measured this out we're going to do about eight inches on uh, between one of them is going to be on this side of the stud the other is going to be over here and then we'll have our mixing valve about 24 inches off the bathroom floor Half an inch for the floor height? Yeah, I think it's been half an inch. 
This is shower supply line. This is the the cold, and then our hot will be right over here. I was thinking we could do it more Mexico style and do all of our hot and cold backwards, like it was on our honeymoon. So if we have 10 inch rafters, they don't necessarily need to go all the way to the bottom. And then I guess like for these ones, they need to be 28 plus 10. So like 38 and then these ones would be, if they're 21, then 10 inches. So 31, that makes sense. All right. Did you want to figure out the toilet dimensions first or the toilet dimension? Don't we need like a cold water hole over there? Or is that just going to be coming out from the wall? Yeah, it's going to go at like eight inches. It's going to be right here. Oh, OK. So it doesn't need a hole from the ground because we're going to. OK, we're going to tee, mind. we're going to tee right from here. All right. I've asked enough questions. Kitchen sink, cold water. <laughs> Whoa. Uh oh. Jeez. <laughs> we lost it. Just gonna fall through. So then twenty. These things are like almost as expensive as the tool. And did you have to get one for three quarters inch and one for half inch? Oh, you know it. So this, we'll put. These are. This is type A cold expansion packs. So we'll put our little collar on there and then put this in there and it like stretches this out enough so that we can put the fitting in and then this goes back to the size that it was meant to be. Cool. And then it's locked in there. It's got like a little stopper on the end there so you can't. Oh, okay. Yeah, I felt that when I picked it can't push, push it too far, I think. And then this will go and slide into here until it pops up against there. And then that'll just be installed like that. Oh, easy breezy like. So, all right, first time using our cold expansion tool. Did it slide in all easy breezy? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it just went in super easy. It's still able to like move right now. I don't think I could like pull it out right now, but it's still able to like rotate. Well, I feel like we'll be done with supply line in like two days. I feel like every time we start something, I go, I bet we'll be done with this one in like a week and then it takes like two, three weeks. Hi.
All right, it's a new day and we are back in the work site and we are ready to keep working on our supply line. Yesterday we figured out basically all of the holes that we needed for our pecs to come up from the crawl space underneath our house. We're making sure that all those have a piece of pecs going down through them so that when we're down below, we're not searching and trying to remember where everything is. So we're doing that little last minute bit of work and then we'll be going down below. And our goal is today to get the cold water line basically all ran below. Okay, so it goes 17 inches up and then it needs 10 inches to the floor joist. Should I go like 28 inches just to be careful it's safe? Do I go like this? Uh, yeah. And just snap it? Yeah, just make sure it's straight. That's really easy. Come up. Now I'm ready to grab it with the screwdriver. Okay, we're into the hole. There you go, get through. Ah, it's like now I hire us. Okay, we just made a huge pile of everything that we're gonna bring down below the house with us. I think we're all ready to go. Let's see if we remembered everything once we get down there. We have all of our lines going down, all of our PEX lines going down, so we should be able to see them when we're down there. And we're gonna start this cold water supply line. at about 14 inches off the wall. Okay, and then this go down mm -hmm. here. The 90 is about one and a half inches off the joist. It's gonna be three inches. Okay. We're done for today down there. We gotta go get our kids from school. So, uh, we got, I don't know, we got about halfway done. Camera died on me. We're done with what we're gonna do today on supply. We got about halfway done. And yeah, we're, our knees hurt. So, we're, <laughs> that's where we're gonna leave you for today.
All right, we are back in the house. We are ready to go down under the house and keep working on our supply line. We've got a late start today because we had a lot of computer work that we needed to get taken care of, but our goal is to get, I hate it when I tell you guys our goal because then I watch the playback and we never hit it. But our goal is to get the supply line basically ran this week underneath our house. And that will include our hot water and our cold water. We will not have our hot water tank yet, so that will all just be stemmed out to its spot or stubbed out to its spot where it's supposed to be. So wish us luck. We have like two and a half days to do it. Because I was gonna be like, show me your best breakdancing move with your knee pads. I feel like it's too late to start. It really is. I'm like, we've got, do we have like two hours yeah. to be able to build? Yeah, we do. Okay. I think you're gonna have a few of those trickster moves, possibly. Yeah. And hopefully, I cut it at the correct length. Then we need one of these on here. The thing ties into there. Yeah. And that's also gonna be cut. Yeah, you got a tight space in there. Does it help if I get behind you and hold? Where do I need to hold it at? Don't let it go. Don't let it go that way. Okay. That looks okay for what we thought was maybe tragic for a second. I got it. What did I say? 131? Yeah, I think so. You did it! All right, we have realized that we're not 100% sure what all the, the blue pieces are that are coming down at us. And we think that maybe we don't have the, um, we think that maybe we don't have the correct length of blue packs and red packs that are going all the way up to our second story. So we're gonna double check that inside the house, figure it all out, and then go back down below and finish running this cold water line. Okay, so this one and the one next to it are going all the way up 
to the upstairs bathroom, and then these two are just for the sink here. Okay, so we just need to figure out our length on those two. Those two are good. Keep going up. Stop. Just stand still. I'm up above in the master bathroom. Ryan is down below in our lower floor bathroom. He is making sure it's all coming up through this hole and I'm making sure it's going to the correct height that we need. And then we should be all good. We can go finish below the house. So I'm gonna push this in, and then when I you say push, when I say push, push, you say push. Okay. <laughs> okay, push. More? No, we do. But those are gonna reach, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> 